Ren Tanghui and Yang Six became sworn brothers and felt deeply honored. He practiced martial arts with the Yang brothers in the back garden every day. Under Yang Six's careful guidance, his martial arts improved greatly. Ren Tanghui lived in Yang Mansion for more than two months, bid farewell to Yang Six and returned to his hometown of Yunnan. Because of his shrewdness and superior martial arts skills, he became a flag officer under the King of Yunnan. Ren Tanghui has never forgotten his kindness to Yang Mansion. This time came to Beijing to visit the benefactor of Yang Mansion, but I didn't expect that Yang Seven was being beaten and surrounded. In his haste, he got wise and told Yang Six's name, and then saved Yang Seven from danger. Thinking of this, I felt happy, picked up the glass of wine, and drank it all in one gulp. Besides, Yang Seven entered the Yang Mansion, sent the horse to the stable, quietly came to the back garden wing, and tied his family member Yang Hong, pulled off the handkerchief that was stuck in his mouth, and said, Brother, I have wronged you. I won't do it again. Seeing Yang Seven's uneasy expression, old Yang Hong asked, Master Seven, where are you from? Seeing blood on his face and hands, Yang Seven said, Brother, to tell you the truth, I got into trouble outside. Don't talk about it. After saying that, he fell down and fell asleep. Old Yang Hong didn't know what trouble he had caused, and was secretly worried. Yang Six returned to Tianguan Mansion from Nanqing Palace. He saw that his brothers were not in the back garden. He was about to go out to look for them when Yang Wan came back with several younger brothers. Yang Six asked, Where is the seventh brother? Yang Wan said, Still sleeping. It turned out that when Yang Seven went on stage to compete, Yang Wan and several younger brothers had already left the temple, and they did not know that Yang Seven had gone out. Yang Six knew that his seventh brother was restless, so he was worried, so he took his brothers to the back garden to check. He was relieved when he saw that his seventh brother was still sleeping peacefully on the bed. When Yang Seven was fighting, the old prince Yang Jia was ordered to patrol the streets. He heard that a black-faced hero had chopped Pan Bao into pieces. He was afraid that his son would cause trouble, so he quickly returned home and asked the Tai Jun, Madam, have the children gone out? Tai Jun said, The children are all obedient and don't dare to go out. The old Yang was still worried and called Yang Wan to inquire about the matter. Yang Wan knelt on the ground and said, I deserve to die. Today, when my sixth brother went to Nantingguan, he took several younger brothers to go shopping on the street. For fear of getting his seventh brother into trouble, he made him drunk with wine, and he is still sleeping in the wing in the back garden. The old Yang scolded Yang Wan, walked away from his seat, and went straight to the back garden. When he saw Yang Seven snoring like thunder, he turned around and left. In fact, Yang Seven knew he was in trouble and couldn't sleep, so the snoring was fake.